to help a, a landlord. Um, no, that's not what it's for. The other thing too is, and just remember, it's it's in Sunbury and also in the. I already have two two sites that we have, and I well, I have one that's right outside the city. I have one in Northumberland. The thing of it is, is we're going through also the area agency on aging. They have already pinpointed some people. Becky already said to me, I have something up here for you. So we, you know, it, it's, it'll be out there. And, and I really appreciate just the consideration that's being given to it. We will be looking at, you know, permit. You know, we'll come into the office, go through all that when it comes time to see what we need to have, we need to do. I also don't think there's a problem if you need, you can use our conference room downstairs to meet. I, I, I appreciate that. And if I'll, I'll, if you want somebody on the committee, I'll talk to you. Okay. I, I mean, I, and if you have any, especially any retired contractors that have that have um, knowledge in assessing sites, that'd be great. <laughs> it's always better to make things better than or instead of making them worse. You know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rena. That's great news. Great news. Any audience comment? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do I call the code office if there is like trees and bushes that are growing out over the street? Are they responsible for that? Yes, they are. Baldy Street yes. between um, Ray Street and I'm not sure. It's it's right. Uh, the address is 240 <coughs> North Front Street. The back of that property is has trees and bushes and everything else growing out over that when the people park in their parking lot you can't go in their parking lot to go around it you have to hit it and it does a number on the side of your car okay you said baldy North Street. well that's the back of it it's on baldy street but the property is up for sale and it's 240 north front street but the the brush is so overgrown and it's mm -hmm. growing out over the alley. It's not only that street, it's all the other ones in town. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's not the one we put on the business no. list. <coughs> and that saves you the four days of vacant. Well, the house has a for sale sign on it. Is that I, to the choir practice place? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, two acres used to live there. It's good moved out. It's in okay. 218 to one cents the fire unless it's on the other side. Okay. Any other questions? We want to announce a beginning. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Council, Regina Russell, community activists. Um, I just want to discuss a couple of things that I um, witnessed uh, in the last month's meeting. It used to be a time when police officers were a friend to the neighborhood and the community. They knew all of the community activists, they knew the leaders, and they knew some of the residents, good or bad, by name. Chief Mazio was that type of policeman, and I hope that the new chief will live up to his standards and better. And I say that because I came here in 2006, and he was the only person that would speak to you. It didn't have to be for a reason, and I've even passed you sometimes, Mr. Mayor, and you say, hello. You may not know my name, or you may have not known my name, but you would at least greet me. And to me, I think that that's um, a good it's a good character to have that when you're dealing with the public. At the last meeting, there was a conversation going on with a couple of the council members, and I really didn't know what was going on until afterwards. And it was about um, uh, Jerome Alex calling uh, Mr. Lamb a liar out publicly, publicly in a meeting. And it seemed like the council members wanted to, I, I, to me it seemed like they were condoning his behavior because during that meeting, no one corrected him for his behavior. So if Mr. Lamb is not a citizen, 
I don't care if he's a citizen or not. If he's interested in coming to these meetings, and he is a resident of the city of Sunbury, he is entitled to be treated with respect and civilly by our public officials and anyone that works for any municipality in the Northumberland County. As far as having someone come in here and trying to put me in my place, and that's one of my experiences, uh, Ms. Moe uh, was, I guess it was arranged for her to come here and try to humiliate me and tell me to mind my business about her being permitted and continues to be permitting her to have a vehicle that's parked and it's halfway on the public sidewalk. We have school traffic that is going to be coming up very soon, and I still can't understand why she is permitted to have any vehicle in this particular space blocking half of the sidewalk. So I want to say it is my civic responsibility to come to you and the council and bring my concerns to you with the hopes that you will take care of it and fix it because that is why most of you are elected into these positions. People trust that you will take care of their concerns and issues. If no one is familiar on the council with the Pennsylvania state ethics, it will familiarize you with what is expected of you as a public official and public employees. And it's something uh, that I think maybe some of you should become familiar with because it deals with the ethical standards of the state of Pennsylvania. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Okay, I guess this is not really good news because beginning August 18th, uh, begin roadway improvements on Front Street. The ending date, September 19th. However you look at that, that's a month. That's a long time. Work will begin 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Uh, final working surface will be placed during evening shifts between 7 and 7. So it pretty much looks like want to stay off the front if you can. Sunday evenings through Friday morning, traffic will be limited to one lane during work hours and there will be flaggers. We'll open to two lanes during non-work hours. Which doesn't seem like a lot of them if we're working uh, evening shifts from 7 to 7. That's all. That's all the last part of it. Okay. All right. That's Sunday. All right, so if you want to come visit, I suggest you might want to come visit at 5 to 10. <laughs> you get to work early between that. But does everybody know that? We'll probably announce that again yet. National Night Out in Cameron Park, August 5th, 5 to 9. Connie here? No, Connie's not here today. Uh, lots of family fun. Connie always has a thousand things going over in the park. So you get the opportunity to come over to that and bring your friends and neighbors with you. Uh, music in the park coming up July 29th, Cast Country, August 5th, the Ann Kirstetter Band, and August 12th, H2 Worship Team. Thank you. Yes, question. Uh, reading this, I, I don't know, we had a discussion or someplace there was a meeting or something where we went to see if we could get that extended from Church Street up to the high rise as far as I'm working because of some problems with uh, Front Street there. Do you know of anything that... <coughs>
I want to thank everybody for coming. This meeting is adjourned.